All right, guys, here we are. We are working on the stock plug that bolts to your fuse box. Uh, what I've done is uh, on LT1Swap.com, they have all this information how to do every bit of this. Uh, they also have this diagram shows, if you look real closely, if my camera will zoom in that close. Let me see. Yeah, if you'll see, those have those have numbers and letters. Uh, it starts all the way to an A, B, C, D, E, F. And if you look over here, it's got one, two, three. It, it numbers every block, uh, A, all the way across the top. Up and down is your numbers, one through 12. And on the chart, it shows you which ones uh, you need to keep and what they're for. Such as what I've done is I've already looked at the harness. And if you'll notice, uh, like here's one. I already marked it. Then here's another one. This goes to your trans PCM. Uh, this is your PCM supply. You have just a bunch of different ones. Here's an uh, injector. Uh, the number of injectors is... Uh, let me spin it around here. Uh, two and four, I believe. Yeah, two and four. But they have, like I said, uh, this is a PCM trans solenoid. What you'll do is label every one of these. And what I've done, I've bunched them all up after I labeled them. These are the ones I'm going to have to snip from this block. Um, so let me go ahead and do that. And I will come right back. Okay, guys, real quick again. Uh, these two wires are the ones, uh, two wires that actually ran to... The C100 block, or C100 plug, I'm sorry, uh, on the LT1 uh, swap website, it tells you that you are going to eliminate uh, that C100 block, also the 152, that'll be the 152, this is the C100 uh, plug, rather, I'm sorry, I know I keep saying block, but um, anyhow, as you can see, there's a pink wire and several other green wires, but uh, those, two of those wires ran to the stock plug for the fuse box. Uh, what you're gonna do is, on the website it tells you, it's got this one highlighted as you keep it, but you don't have to. Uh, you just snip that, you do not reuse that one. All the other ones that it tells you to use, you will have to use those. Those will either run injectors, coils, uh, constant power to your PCM, uh, stuff like that. And then all the other wires right here, you will not need those. Uh, you can just, you'll snip them off at this uh, box right here, just right, right through here, you can cut them anywhere, but and then you will untangle these, get them out of your harness, and you will not have to have those wires. These are the main wires that you will have to have. You will rerun these to a new fuse box, which I have over here. Let me get some light on here. If you can see it, I have, I've got two of these. Uh, I bought these from AutoZone. What I'll do is I will run a keyed power source to here. This will be my main one. And then I'll solder up my injector wires uh, I'll take all of my injector wires I'll solder them all together and have one wire coming out and it'll end up going to one of these fuses same goes for the coils I'll solder those all together and they'll come to another fuse so forth and so on but let me get these snipped uh, I will clip the ends of them get the wire off or the the wire coating off. I recommend getting you a nice pair of uh, wire snips and uh, strippers. They really come in handy. But anyhow, 
I'm gonna snip these off and I'll start peeling them and get my soldering gun ready and we'll do some soldering. All right guys, right now I'm doing a little bit of soldering. Uh, I've got all the wires taken out of uh, my harness. What I'm doing now is I'm working on the, uh, the data port. Uh, I'm gonna show you something real quick here. Uh, again, all this information is on lt1swap.com. Uh, your orange wire on your data port is gonna go to constant power. Uh, your two black wires, black and then black with a white stripe, you'll link those together. That'll be your ground. Uh, it'll tie into your harness. The, on my case, in my case, the purple wire right here, I know you can't hardly tell, but yeah, it's purple. Uh, that is gonna go to my PCM. Uh, it'll go for the, you'll have a, a plug or a wire, a green wire. It'll come from, I believe, pin 52 on the, uh, the, pin, uh, the PCM plug. But uh, it'll be, either way, it'll be the, wire for that will be green so i'll just tack it solder it to the uh purple wire that is pin number two if you'll look uh if it'll zoom in for you let's see you'll see they are numbered so uh what you'll do is sometimes you'll have to repin this uh it won't necessarily be in that spot but you need to have pin number two for your PCM data. Uh, the green wire, I'm not gonna use. So what you have to do, uh, you can remove this little blue cap that's holding the pins in. Then you'll have, a, again, in, down inside of there. If I can get this to zoom. You'll have little clips right there that's holding them pins in. Just pull that little clip back a little bit and then you can pull this wire straight out afterwards and then you won't need that no more set that to the side and continue make sure you use heat shrink on your uh, wire connections where you're soldering them together you don't want no moisture getting to it let me uh go ahead and finish doing this and then i'm going to solder all of my injector wires together uh, all of my coil wires together and so forth and so on and we'll come back. All right, guys, I've got a little bit of solder on these. These are my injector wires. What we're gonna do is we're gonna solder all these together. These are all gonna go on one circuit, so. Or I should say one fuse, I'm sorry. All right, let's check that. Okay, the bottom didn't get soldered too good, so let's spin this around. We will solder the bottom side. Spin it back around, make sure we got this whole thing. That all looks good. Now what I'll do is I will run a long wire from here. I'll run a single wire off of all of this. I'll solder another wire here. And that will run to right here on one of these. That way when I turn the key on, this is going to have keyed power, so it kick on. So, let me find a good wire for this. 
and we will come right back. All right, now that we got this, I've got a good heavy duty pink wire. I just took this out of part of the loom that I took out of, out of the wiring. So what we'll do is solder this one under here. Spin this around a little bit. To where I can saw that side. I'll clean my soldering tip. So that's the injector side of it. Now after I do all the other ones, what I'll do is I'll take all of my coil wires. This is coil wire for one, three, five, and seven. Uh, let's see, this one is my mass airflow sensor. This one is another coil wire. This one is for two, four, six, and eight. What I'll do is I'll link these two together. And then I'll do the same thing I've done on this. I'll tie another wire to it. And that'll also go to another spot on that fuse panel. So let me get that done and we'll come back. All right, guys. So we're back. And as you can tell, I'll start taping up my harness a little bit. I do have a big mess. Uh, I've got... Uh, my wires that I've used for my coils and uh, injectors and stuff, I got them take a little bit right here. What I'll do is take these wires and I'll pull them further down the line to uh, get all the tangled mess out. Uh, I'll start with this. These are wires that have came from uh, other plugs and uh, there's a couple plugs uh, there's your cruise control wire. Uh, there is also uh, your tack wire. You'll have your fuel pump relay. Uh, that'll get wired in. Um, what I'll also do, this is my ODB port. As you can see, I've got it wired up. And uh, I'll get some... I'm going to use the mesh uh, wire loom for this. I've got all of my uh, new fuse box slash breaker panel, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this is the setup. I uh, The original wires were orange right here. This is for my constant power. That'll power my PCM. Uh, I, attack, or, uh, I attached a brown and tan wire. Again, I just took some wires from the, uh, the harness wires that I've taken off and extended them. On the left will be my 12 volt keyed source. Uh, and then on the right will be my 12 volt constant powered. I'll have a uh, wire cover from here going to my battery. Or actually to a, either that or to a relay. It'll be probably a relay. This will also go to a, uh, a relay. 
uh, you will want to label everything. Uh, that's what I've done anyhow. That way I know which wire is what. Um, let's see. What else can I tell you here? Uh, this is my constant power that will run to my, uh, my ODB port. I will reroute this. It will plug up to my 12 volt constant power side. Uh, as you can see, I do have a mess on my hands, but um, I'll lay all this out and I'll get every bit of it uh, situated. It'll look a lot better than this when I get done. But yeah, that's basically the logistics of it. Um, I have long enough uh, lead from my harness for my fuse box. I've got probably four foot, three foot, four foot, somewhere around there. Um, you don't have to have that much, but I got it just in case I do need it. I plan on, or well, should I say plan? I want to tuck this somewhere out of the way where it's covered up. I may build a box for all this stuff uh, to be covered up. But again, on all these wires here, these are going to be for your, your dash works. Um, it'll uh, work your speedometer, your tack, uh, stuff like that. What I'll do is I'll get all this laid out on my floor and I'll get it where it needs to go and I'll start taping it off and then I'll get me some wire loom and start going over it with wire loom. That is basically how you do this uh, wiring harness for a drive-by cable. Uh, first thing I'll do is I settle it on the floor but what I'll actually end up doing is I'll put it on my motor that way I'll make sure I've got plenty enough room uh, for my plugs to plug up to all of my sensors that I need. Uh, but we will come back after I get all this situated. I just wanted to come back in here real quick and show you all before I got too far on how I done my fuse panels.